Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. So if you're new here, my name is Daveen and I homeschool four kids ages 11, 11, 12, and 14. And today I'm hosting a collaboration with Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And we are talking about our holiday homeschool plans. <music> So a bunch of moms are joining in on this collaboration. I will link in the description box below a link to a playlist that all of them have added their videos to. I'm sure you'll get a ton of great ideas about how to do homeschool in the holidays or some resource ideas if that is something that you are interested in planning or looking at. So as far as holiday homeschooling goes, I am... Um, I think I'm just maybe a token person in this collaboration who doesn't really do anything particularly special for homeschool during this season between Thanksgiving and Christmas is usually what we're talking about. I do have some plans, but it is not really related to our homeschool. I'm not doing any special unit studies. I'm not planning anything really special in our school time. We're just going to continue to do our schoolwork as normal. Now, for some people, that sounds really boring. That sounds like not a break. Um, it sounds like maybe kids will get antsy and get upset or maybe just not, I don't know, not a fun way to do the holiday season as a homeschooler. However, that is how I prefer to do things here in our homeschool. I am one who I do like the holidays. I do like Thanksgiving. I do like Christmas. I do like things like that. However, in general, those things really stress me out as well. And I really value routine for myself in order to manage the stress. So for me, keeping things the same is less stressful than coming up with a new plan for our school days during that time. And so I think the first year I did do something special for the season. We did like the gather round Christmas unit and we did have fun with that. However, to me that just adds more stress to change what we're doing. Some things that I do, that I do do during the holiday season is I am probably a little more flexible and I try to be a little more open to experiences that are available during this time. So for example, one of the things that I'm most excited about during this time between Thanksgiving and Christmas is I have a brother who lives in Taiwan. I have not seen him in about three and a half years and he is going to be visiting for very end of November and early December. He'll be staying with us during that time. So I'm super excited about that. Towards the end of his stay, we are doing our family Christmas with my side of the family. So my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece, and this brother who's going to be visiting us. We're going to have our family Christmas. And so I'm really looking forward to that. So while my brother's here for two weeks, I'm not sure how much schoolwork will be getting done. So in preparation for that, I might do like an extra day of school around Thanksgiving where I might have taken it off. So usually I take the Wednesday right before Thanksgiving off just to allow some time for preparation. But we don't do a huge Thanksgiving thing either. I do make a Thanksgiving meal, but it is just my our immediate family who usually has it. I might check and see if there's someone in church who doesn't have somewhere to go and maybe invite them, but it's really not a big thing for us. We don't have any local family, so often Thanksgiving is just our family. So it's really just, I make the meal and we eat it and there's just not a lot there. So I do often take the Wednesday before that off, but I probably will just do school that day since my brother's coming pretty soon. When my brother is visiting, I'm going to have to be flexible on what we do. Now, I think he will appreciate some time to himself probably where kids are not bombarding him. So I think having a little bit of school will probably be helpful. Maybe half days of school or something like that or maybe rotating between independent work and group work. 
something like that might work for us while he's here. We might take a day off here and there if the weather's nice or if there's activities that we can go to. We can plan that out as things come up. But yeah, so other than that, our pre-Christmas homeschooling will be pretty similar other than a little extra flexibility for when my brother is visiting. We usually homeschool right up until the public school takes off. Often we might take that last Friday off before the public school is out, just depending on our travel plans. My husband does work for a public school district nearby, so his schedule follows the school district. And we generally will go and visit our family as soon as he is available. So we will be flying to North Carolina and visit my mother and father-in-law, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and his family. So we are usually there for close to two weeks. And so that is always a lot of fun to see them and see my nieces and nephews. They have five kids over there. So just be able to spend time with family then. And we often don't start our school until probably the Thursday and Friday after most people have started. So we'll take almost three solid weeks off for our Christmas break, just because there's travel and time differences and things like that. We just get a slow start when we start back in school. So really, I don't know what our Christmas holiday school is going to look like. There's a few unknowns. I'm going to just have to play it by ear. And so I just wanted to come in here and share with people to let people know that if you are homeschooling, you don't have to do anything special just because it's the holidays. You can if you want. And like I said, there'll be so many examples in the playlist below of what people are going to be doing for their special holiday schooling. Um, it's okay to not if that stresses you out or if you your kids sort of need more routine. It's also okay to be flexible. It's okay to do half days if that's what you need. It's okay to do full days. It's okay to take it off. Some people take the whole month of December off and that is how they choose to homeschool. So that's one of the benefits of homeschooling. We have flexibility. We can do our number of days, however many days that is either based on our state or based on our own preferences whenever we want. We can homeschool during the day, afternoon, evening, weekends. So yeah, that is just one of the great things about homeschooling. We can personalize our homeschool to fit our family. So let me know if you are like me at all if you kind of like to stay to the same routine as much as possible, if the holidays kind of stress you out a bit, I think it's just because for me, I feel like I'm already at max capabilities in general and then holidays just add extra layers of to-dos and things that must be done. And I just don't want school, my homeschool and the things that we're doing in our homeschool to be something I also have to plan differently. It's one thing to cut things out of our homeschool. It's another thing for me to have to plan something completely new, even if it's a lighter load, just stresses me out. So I would love to hear if maybe you feel a little bit like that. Just let me know I'm not alone. If you do love all the holiday things and you love to do the unit studies and you love to do all the different Christmassy things in your homeschool, I love that for you guys. I'm so glad that the season's coming and that you can enjoy that with your family and that that gives you a sense of joy. Thanks so much for coming today and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye everyone.